Hey guys, I'm Becky from Book Bite Reviews and welcome to another reading vlog. Today's reading vlog has no theme other than the fact that I wanted to do a reading vlog. I have three books that I'm very, very excited to read and I definitely want to talk about them with you guys. So I decided why not? So today it is Tuesday, June... 16th. I am about to go to work. I have to start work very, very soon. And I just wanted to jump on and do this opening clip really quickly. Also, I finally got my hair to be green. Oh, guys, I'm so excited. Number one, stay away from splat. It's terrible junk company. I've always heard that, but I figured it would work out. I don't know why, but it didn't. Um, so, I decided to use Arctic Fox, which is a vegan, animal cruelty free, like gluten free, no chemicals, crazy good, semi permanent hair dye. And I used the darkest green. I can't remember what it's called, but it's the darkest green. And it turned out beautiful. This is the color that I wanted. It looks absolutely stunning. Ah, I'm a really, really big fan. But all right, let's quickly talk about the books that I want to read this week and then go to work. So next week is G from Book Roast is hosting a mini magical readathon. And I have books that I want to read for that. It is the next week is the last full final week of June. After that, there's only like two days left. So I want to try and get these three books that I wanted to prioritize this month done before all of that happens. So the very first one is my book club-ish book. If you've seen my June TBR, you will know that this was originally going to be my book club book, but unfortunately I had to switch all my books up because of the coronavirus. I can't get physical copies to my patrons, so I have to pick books that are available in both an ebook and an audiobook on Hoopla, because some of my patrons don't like audiobooks. They're crazy, I know. So this one is only available in audio, so I had to pick a new Becky Albertalli book, which I did read and it was really freaking good. But the one that I wanted to read and that I'm going to read this week, hopefully, is What If It's Us by Becky Albertalli and Adam Silvera. I can't freaking wait to read this book. Ugh, I've been wanting to read this book for a very long time. I've heard nothing but amazing things about it. It is a little bit big, so I'm a little intimidated, but it's gonna work out fine. I have the audiobook. It's gonna be great. I can't wait. The other book that I have to read is The Harvest Man by Alex Grecian. This is an adult mystery crime series. It is for Rub Club. They didn't have any more YA books this They didn't have any YA books this month for me to review, so they asked if I would do an adult book, and this is what they gave me. So this is definitely outside of my norm, but slightly inside enough so that it isn't that big of a deal. This is part of the Scotland Yard's Crime Division series. I don't remember the exact name of the series, but this is book four. From what I'm gathering, you can read them in any order. Each book follows a new serial killer, but some details are like slightly woven in. So if you've ever read anything by like Kay Hooper, her books are the same way. You can read them in any, in any order, but there'll be like small tiny details about like who a character is dating that like you would have found out in the previous book, but it's not a big deal. So in this book, we are searching for the Harvest Man, and he is somebody that mutilates bodies by, like, severely cutting them up into, like, teeny tiny pieces. Yeah, pretty gruesome. Uh, I just started it last night. I'm, like, 75 pages in, and so far it's honestly, <laughs> I hate to say this, but it's not as gruesome as I thought, but I'm only 75 pages in. And I did have a small little quick like peek into the killer's mind where we got his point of view. So that was really interesting. I'm expecting a lot more of that, hopefully. But so far, it's actually pretty good. I don't think I'll read any more by Alex Grecian. I don't think I'll read any more of the other books in the series. But for the time being, it's not awful. And then the third book that I would like to try to read this week is one that I'm going to hopefully be starting today. That is Boyfriend Material by Alexis Hall. This is a book that I have for review. I 
oh, I cannot wait to start this book. I've been wanting to read this for so, so long. I think like six months ago, I heard about it. And then when I saw it was on Idlevice, I asked for it. I got accepted. I can't freaking wait to read it. It's gonna be amazing. Hopefully, hopefully it'll be amazing. But it gives me red, white, and royal blue vibes, except for instead of being a prince, I think we have like a English celebrity who like has a reputation of one night stands I think so they get a fake boyfriend and then it turns into a real boyfriend so I'm really 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 excited about it I cannot wait it sounds fantastic but yeah those are the three books that I hope to read this week I have been really big into Animal Crossing lately. I'm trying to get my island into the five star range and it's taking forever, but I have moved a whole lot of things around in my town where I think now it's actually plausible to get a five star, but I don't know what to really do with my town yet. So now we're in like the planning phases and I have to decide if I wanna like move houses around I don't think so though. I think I like where my characters are, but maybe we'll move them around. I don't know. I don't know. So yeah, I'm spending a lot of time on Animal Crossing, which means audiobooks are the key to success, which two out of the three books for this week are audiobooks, so it should work out just freaking fine. So I think now I'm going to go to work. I have three minutes to get ready. Uh, and then I will check in with you guys throughout my day. Hey friends, so I'm taking a small break from work because I, oh, it's gonna be dark, sorry. Uh, I have a little bit of a headache and I probably need to eat something. So we are running down to my kitchen together to get those things. And I wanted to show you guys something that I got this morning from Amazon. Let me set you guys up. Okay, so today on Amazon I ordered, well, not today, the other day on Amazon, I ordered this cold brew thing. I'll leave a link in the description about it. But basically what you do is it has this insert that I'll show you. You fill it up with your coffee grounds. You put water in it. You put 14 to 16 tablespoons of your coffee grounds, four cups of water, and then you leave it in your fridge overnight and you get your own cold brew. So here is the little filter where you put your grounds. The filter isn't a regular mesh. It's like a plastic, almost like a, like a silicone kind of feeling, but the grounds don't get through. The water can penetrate it, but the grounds can't get out. So you just end up having this really cool cold brew that you get to make at home using your own coffee grounds and I'm a huge 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 fan of cold brew. So what it actually makes is a coffee concentrate and you can either pour some in a cup and then pour boiling water over it or you can put it on ice. So you can do it hot or cold and do it all from home with your own coffee grounds without even having a coffee maker and it's supposed to be like less acidic and like better for you. I don't know. After 24 hours, you take out the filter and then you can keep this in your fridge up to two weeks. It is an airtight seal. So ugh, I'm just, I'm really excited about this if you couldn't tell. But yeah, this isn't sponsored. I wish, I wish somebody would send me free coffee stuff, but it's not sponsored. Just want to share it with you guys. Now I'm going to get a pop. I'm going to find some kind of snack. Actually, I'm going to eat cheese with so nice, delicious Cheez-Its. And now we're gonna go back upstairs. But yes, I wanted to just check in with you guys, you know, just living the dream, doing work stuff, and figured I would show you my cool coffee thing because I can't wait to use it. <sighs> but now it's time to go back to work. Hopefully I can get rid of this headache because it's really bad and I don't know why it's happening. Hello friends. Um, I haven't started eating my Cheez-Its yet, but it's been like an hour since I last updated with you and this is turning into a full-blown migraine. We love that for us. We love that. So I'm going to take my lunch break. Uh, may drag it out a bit longer than the half hour I'm appointed, but uh, we're going to go sit in a dark room. Maybe play some Animal Crossing. Definitely gonna listen to my creepy audiobook, 
But yeah, I need to get away from this computer screen, which is funny because I haven't really been looking at screens all weekend. I took a half day on Friday from work and took yesterday, Monday off. So it's funny that I'm getting a migraine this quickly when I haven't gotten one in a very long time. And also I haven't looked at a screen all weekend. So it's the first exposure, which may be why it's triggering a migraine because now I'm not used to looking at screens. But man, this sucks. So I'm gonna go listen to my audiobook. Thought I would check in with you guys and let you know that I'm dying. Uh, but I'm gonna do some reading. So I'll see you guys later. Hello, I'm back. It's many hours later. Like, three to be exact. Feeling a little bit better. Taking some more medicine. But I ate a little bit of something. Took a nap. Not sure if it helped. Is what it is. I did uh, listen to a half hour, about a half hour more of my audiobook. And we had another chapter from The Killer's Point of View. It was much more gruesome. Much more <laughs> what I was expecting and wanting. But basically, it turns out he is looking for his parents. And we don't know why or what happened, but he's looking for his parents. And he finds these couples and he carves them up, like, like cuts off their ears and puts them other places to try to make them look like his parents because he's trying to find them. And then when he realizes that they're not his parents, he thinks that they've deceived him. And he murders them. It's just wild. <laughs> it's just wild. The book is surprisingly pretty interesting. Mainly just because of the crime. But I will say though that we have like all male characters. Which like it makes sense for the time period and stuff like that. But uh, I've only been in the head of two women. And it wasn't that great. So the book definitely has like it's problems. It's definitely not something that I would have picked up on my own more than likely, but it's still not that awful. So that's still a plus. But now I'm going to go back to work. I'm going to do th the three hours of work I was supposed to do earlier, but my head is killing me. So I'm going to do that now. And I will see you guys hopefully later tonight. I'm going to try to feel better and start boyfriend material. That would be ideal. So that's the plan. I definitely need to get some food. I need to make some dinner. Ugh. I feel like the headache's going away, but it's taking a very, very long time. Wish me luck. Hey guys, it is Wednesday. I am taking a little break from work and I wanted to update you guys. My headache is finally gone. It stuck around until I went to bed. Uh, it was an all day headache and it was pretty awful. But today so far, no headache. I did start drinking my coffee that I made yesterday that I showed you guys and it was delicious. Well, it is delicious because I still have some. But so far it is so, so delicious. I definitely need to get my regular creamer though because they were out of it. As you may or may not know, I'm obsessed with Oreo creamer and I have not been able to find it anywhere and I'm panicking that it is no longer a thing. I really hope it's still a thing because it's my favorite and yeah so now I just have vanilla which is real boring after Oreo but uh what I came on here to do was not to obsessively talk about Oreo creamer it was to talk about reading the whole reason we are here. So last night even though I had a very big headache I did do a lot of reading actually. I listened to the rest of my audiobook for my creepy rub club pick which is The Harvest Man by Alex Grecian. Sorry I don't know why I can't remember Harvest. I always want to call it The Huntsman instead of The Harvest Man. Um, yes, I finished that last night. I stayed up way too late reading it because I just wanted it to be over. <laughs> uh, not in a bad way though, but I wanted to finish it. So I stayed up till four o'clock in the morning when I had to be up at nine finishing it. And I have decided to give it three out of five stars. It definitely isn't a book I would have picked up on my own. It's definitely not my normal read, but it was definitely enjoyable. I found myself somehow 
concerned and attached to these characters and wanting to know what was going to happen to them. I am slightly interested in reading the next one, but I don't know if I will. But it definitely was an interesting experience and I don't regret reading it. So overall it was really good. It was really interesting. The only part that I felt like uh, maybe was unbelievable is when we have scenes with Jack the Ripper. He's made to be almost like a almost like a paranormal creature because he like appears and disappears very quickly and like people don't really see him they just see like his silhouette and he'll like like all of a sudden like be right up on a character and then all of a sudden be like halfway across the room so I I feel like they're giving him too much credit <laughs> um instead of like with the main serial killer the harvest man they are like constantly pointing out to like his victims that he's just a person that like we're gonna catch him because he's just a person he's not you know it's the this like m mythical demon like character who will haunt you forever and stay out of our grasp we, we will catch him but then they're not doing the same with jack like they're they're t treating them as like two separate things and like i know that jack the ripper is like awful but i feel like the harvest man is almost worse because he's like deranged which like of course jack the ripper's deranged if he's killing people but it's on like a totally different level of derangedness overall very interesting i'm glad that i read it i would suggest others pick it up I definitely think it was good for me to read it because it could be something that I suggest to my patrons when I'm at work. But yeah, three out of five stars. It wasn't like ridiculously good. It wasn't awful though. And it was pleasantly surprising. But that means I did not pick up boyfriend material. I still have yet to pick that up as well. I'm hoping maybe tonight, but I did start earlier uh, my audiobook for... What If It's Us by Becky Abertalli. I've read two hours of the audiobook so far and it is so so good. Like I'm so fully invested. I love these characters. I love their personalities. They're funny and it's oh, it's so good. It's really 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 good and I just love them. I love them a lot. Hey guys I am attempting to go back to work but I wanted to put on Law & Order SVU while I'm working because I'm trying to rewatch all of the seasons up to where my mom and I stopped. I think I've talked about this before in a vlog. Pretty sure I have. But I haven't watched SVU in weeks. So I'm trying to get back on it <laughs> so that I can catch up. I don't know if my mom has or is going to, but that's her problem, not mine. But anyways, I was on Hulu to turn it on. And the first category, as you probably know, is TV for you, which is like new stuff and recommendations and blah, blah, blah. Well, I haven't been on Hulu in probably at least a week or two. And I don't know when this came out. I'm pretty sure recently, if I'm not mistaken. But let me show you what is on. Love, Victor. I did not know that this was on Hulu. Ugh great. I'm not going to watch it now because I want to pay attention, but there goes a big chunk of my life because I'm definitely going to binge this. And then something else I didn't know was back. The bold type. Oh, I love the bold type so freaking much. There's an episode on now and then the one that comes out this week will be on Hulu on Friday. So oh, again, more TV to watch. Hey guys, today is Friday. I've just got home from work. Yes, home from work. Today was my first day back in the building. We have split our staff into three teams and each team goes in for four days straight and then works 10 days from home. So my team works Friday, Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, every other weekend. The rest of the time I'm working from home until the foreseeable future but um yeah today was my first day back in the building it was definitely it has its pros and cons for one I really really like working from home I like that I can just like wake up and start working I also like that I can kind of like work whenever I want to throughout the day however because of that I have a hard time separating work and home so like 
a lot of videos haven't been edited and uploaded because I'm like doing work stuff all day and then I don't feel like doing anything else afterwards. Whereas being in the building, I'm in there for this amount of time, that's when I can do work, once I'm home, no more work is getting done, and I feel like I have so much more energy and time to do things. So I'm about to edit, hopefully, at least two videos right now, two to three, depending, and I'm really, really excited about it. It does stink that I have to be to work at a certain time, but it is nice to be back in the building and have those set work hours again. So we'll just have to see how it all goes, but today went pretty well, even though we had a lot of difficulties today. Our power went out, our phones went down, our Wi-Fi went down. It was just a mess, and nobody can tell us why, and it is what it is. But as you guys know, I haven't updated you in two days. I haven't been doing any reading. I've been very, very busy at work. Like yesterday, I worked until like 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning, and it was just very long. So uh, I haven't been doing any reading, but now that I have these set hours and things, I do plan on getting a very large chunk of reading done today and tomorrow and hopefully Sunday. So that is the plan. So right now I'm going to edit my videos and then I will check in with you guys later once I hopefully get some reading done. Hey guys, so it is Saturday. I'm home from work. Just got back from the grocery store because tomorrow is Father's Day and I need to make my stepdad some brownies. But last night, I only ended up editing one video. I know I said I was going to edit like two or three or who knows, but it was only one. Um, it took me a really long time to do my thumbnail because I didn't know what graphic I wanted to use. So... By the time I finally got done with it, I was like, I'm pooped. So instead, I just did one video, which is still productive, so it's fine. I did listen to some more of my audiobook of What If It's Us. I'm not done, but I'm almost done. I think I have like 190 pages left. It is so freaking good. I just really, really love it. They are at the part where they are starting to go on dates, and it's just so cringy. Like, they're both just dealing with a lot and also just mega awkward. So it's just, it's cringy, but it's supposed to be. And I'm just like, oh, I just want this to work out, but I don't know if it will. So we will have to see. I do really like, though, that there is a talk about... A very, very small talk, but still some mention about race and microaggressions. It was really cool to see because I feel like we don't see it that often, so it was definitely very appreciated. Then I have also been watching Love, Victor. It is so freaking good. I really, really like this show a lot. I have watched three episodes, I think, now, but I'm really, really liking it. It's so cute. The only thing, though, is I'm not the biggest fan of the boy love interest. I think he's kind of cringy, and I don't think he's that attractive. <laughs> I hate to say that, but I'm just like, mm, isn't there a cuter boy? Like, I like Felix more, but... That's just me. I really, really like that there's a girl named Lake. I think that that's so cool. I am really loving the show. I will say, if you guys agree with us, let me know in the comments. If any of you watch Kevin from The Irish Reader here on YouTube, look at him and then look at Victor. And I'm telling you, it's as if like a Hispanic American Kevin was alive. Like, if he looks just like Kevin, except for he's Hispanic and American. It's so funny. But if you watch Kevin and you can see it, or if you don't see it, still comment below and let me know. But I'm just like, Kevin, did you have a show and get a tan and not tell anybody? Uh, it's funny. It's like all I can think of now. But right now, I'm going to try and read as much of my audiobook as I can. I'm hoping to finish it tonight and then I'm going to play some Animal Crossing while I listen 
After that, I'm probably going to play my pit cross game while I listen. And just have a pretty chill night. I don't work again until Monday, so that is cool. Tomorrow I have a lot of plans. My husband and I are supposed to go fishing with my dad in the morning and then go to my mom's for dinner, so... I feel like it's going to be a long day. I feel like I should probably go to bed early tonight. Ugh. Hey guys, so I have just finished What If It's Us. It was so freaking good, you guys. Oh my god. I loved this book so, so much. And this is exactly why I wanted to pick it for book club this month, but unfortunately, all thanks to COVID, it had to just be a bonus book for my book club, but it's fine. People are still going to read it. I know of a couple of them so far, but hopefully the rest will hear how much we love it. And then everyone will pick it up because this book was so freaking good. I love this book so much, but that ending literally kills me. Yes, it's realistic. Yes, it's mature. But <sighs> the ending's not bad. I'm not going to say anything to spoil it to tell you what happens. But it's just not what I need out of this. And it definitely makes me feel like I don't even know what to say to not spoil it. So I just won't say anything. And yeah, I guess that's all that I can really say about it. But I absolutely love it. I'm giving it five out of five stars. This book was totally worth all of the hype. I'm so happy that I finally, finally picked it up. It was amazing. All it makes me want to do, though, is reread Carry On. I really just want to read Mail Mail Romance now. <laughs> That's all I want now. <sighs> so good. So freaking good. Maybe I'll start listening to Carry On, the audiobook, <laughs> just because I don't know what to do with myself. But I think I'm going to start prepping to make my brownies. I need to wash dishes and things like that to get everything ready. But hopefully tonight, the plan is to start boyfriend material. I don't know if I can get it done by the end of this vlog because I will be ending this tomorrow night, but hopefully I can at least get it started. I am really, really, really excited to start that book. So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing dishes and I will check in with you guys later. All right, guys, I have just gotten done with the dishes. I did not listen to any of Carry On. Just didn't do it. But I'm going to start cooking. I figured I would show you guys me cooking and show you how to make my brownies. So let me show you first the amount of space I have in my kitchen. It's ugh, a nightmare. So this is literally my kitchen. Excuse any mess that you can see, like all of these pop cans and all of this junk that's on top of the microwave. But yes, this is the size of the kitchen I have. I literally have this much counter space to work with. And then, of course, I have all my clean dishes going, but then literally the amount of space of a KitchenAid to do things in my kitchen. Now, normally I would have a pans worth more uh, but these are drying this is what I got people so now let's just get to baking my oven is preheating right now to what the box says I'm going to be using Duncan Hines chewy fudge brownies I always use some kind of like chewy fudgy brownie mix that's my go-to for these I have also greased the pans that I'm putting in. I'm making some for my stepdad and some for my husband. And yeah, let's just start doing the things. So first up, I'm going to fill my measuring cup with a half a cup of oil and a fourth a cup of milk. Normally it's water, but it says that you can replace the water with milk. And I think that's gonna be even better. I've never done that part. We're going to test it out, but I think it's going to be even better. All right, so now we are going to add the brownie mix into my bowl. And the milk and oil. And then I'm going to add two eggs, but I don't think I can do that one-handed 
Not that talented. And now the fun part, which is mixing it. Now the part that really sets my brownies apart, I'm going to use a half a bag of Reese's peanut butter chips to the mix, and then I'm going to just lightly stir it, throw it on the pan, and get to baking. So now we have these two beautiful pans of brownies going in the oven. Now, the very last trick to my brownies is I slightly undercook them. I usually only undercook them by like a minute or two, but that's the trick. So now we'll have perfect, delicious, chewy, fudgy, extremely soft, melt in your mouth brownies. Mmm. Perfection. So now I think I'm just going to play some Animal Crossing while I wait. Once they're done, I'm gonna go upstairs and start reading boyfriend material. I can't wait. Hey guys, so it is just after midnight on Sunday night, which means it's technically Monday, which means it's time to wrap up this vlog because I need to start my next one for the mini magical readathon. So let's go ahead and talk about all of the books that I have read. The very first book that I finished this week was The Harvest Man by Alex Grecian. This book I ended up giving three out of five stars. I read this book for Rub Club and although it was definitely not something I would have picked up on my own, I really did enjoy it and I am considering reading the other books in the series. Then I picked up What If It's Us by Becky Albertalli and Adam Silvera. This book I absolutely loved. I gave it five out of five stars. I listened to the audiobook for both of the books I just mentioned, but I really, really enjoyed the audiobook. We had two narrators, an alternating point of view. It was so, so good. The ending definitely killed me, but I really, really enjoyed it, and I would definitely read something that these two author together again. And then finally, I did start Boyfriend Material by Alexis Hall on my Kindle. I got this book for review from Idlevice, and I am, I think it's, let me double check how far I am. I'm 18% of the way through it. I'm on page roughly 77. So far, I am enjoying it. I definitely find it interesting. It is funny. It also is like a bit dry. It all takes place in London and I am enjoying it but it just hasn't like fully hooked me but I'm definitely invested enough where I have like no thoughts of not reading this book. The only thing I will say is that it has been a long time since I've gotten an arc of this quality um, and by quality I mean not the best. <laughs> so there are a lot of missing words and like sentences that don't make sense and it has been a long time since I received one of these. I'm definitely used to this kind of quality in independent authors which makes a whole lot more sense. I'm pretty surprised at the quality of this arc because I'm pretty sure that this is coming from one of the bigger publishing houses. Let me double check that actually just to make sure but I'm pretty sure that's accurate and usually they don't send out arcs like this. I feel like this is like a pretty early draft. Okay, so I don't know what exactly is going on. I feel like books have been taken down because there's like a whole bunch of stuff missing on my idle vice now, which is weird. But according to Amazon, Boyfriend Material is being published by Sourcebooks, so it is one of the bigger publishing companies. So I'm not really sure why this arc is in this kind of state. I really hope that this isn't like an extremely early draft and then the final version is very different from this one which can happen. Hopefully that's not the case. Uh, but <laughs> I am really enjoying it and I can't wait to read more of it. I think I'm going to try and fit this in to my mini magical readathon and try to make it fit for a prompt because I definitely want to finish it very very soon. But alright guys, that is everything that I have for you. I hope that you guys enjoyed this reading vlog. I definitely enjoyed the things that I read during this reading vlog, and I will see you guys in the next one. 
Don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, to please give it a thumbs up. If you loved it and you want to see more bookish content from me, please hit subscribe. And if you want to be notified as soon as my videos go live here on YouTube, hit the notification bell. I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Oh, <laughs> my